I'm Eric Franke. Thanks for joining me for News 3 at 10 Live in HD. The DNR fishing for answers tonight after a massive fish kill. It's a story we were first to bring you last night at 6. It happened at Lake Puckaway, 70 miles northeast of Madison. The night team's David Douglas back from the area and has tonight's top story. Well, since the 80s, contracts have been awarded to the highest bidder to rid the lake of carp. Yeah, that's right, the highest bidder because a commercial fisherman pays the state for the chance to harvest rough fish, which he later sells. In our continuing coverage tonight, a new contract was recently awarded to an angler now under investigation. When I look at it, I know it's thousands of fish. Along the shores of Lake Puckaway, dead walleye stretch as far as the eye can see. We're sick about it. I mean, it, we're just sick. Hooked on fishing, Phil Malsick can't believe the sight or how they ended up on shore. Through the investigation, we found that the, the cause for the mortality was that uh, the game fish weren't removed from the netting operation. An operation intended to remove carp from these waters that did not go as planned. It was a manner, matter of them removing the rough fish and leaving the game fish. The DNR says a contractor who was removing carp from the lake simply didn't get the game fish out of the net fast enough. And if you don't remove the game fish, then you have mortality through either um, uh, bumping it with other fish or uh, depletion of oxygen. Fisherman Phil says this isn't the first carp contractor who didn't live up to his promises hook, line, and sinker. We'd like to see in the future, uh, you know, a little more background check on these guys uh, to make sure they, you know, have the necessary equipment, have the necessary manpower. That way, the next time someone casts a wide net in Lake Puckaway, they catch what they came for. Our fishing is going to continue to be good, and, and it has been, but uh, it's going to take a hit, and it's going to take years to get back into the, the place where we were just a few weeks ago. And that commercial fisherman is Tim Smith. He's from Ohio, and he made the trek all the way to the Badger State to do the job, a job the DNR says he failed to do properly. We haven't been able to contact him, but we will keep trying. The DNR tells us the case will be forwarded to the district attorney for possible civil charges. News 3's David Douglas reporting tonight. David, thank you very much.